Hey everybody, on this episode of Mr. Fix, we're in the basement trying to prevent any other backflow water problems that you have. Now, uh, I've done some research, you know, you can get a, when the house is new, it's easier to put a, a big backflow on your four inch pipe, the sewer pipe. Once your house is done, uh, you're going to be looking at some major expenses to rip out the cement, put in the backflow the proper way. You want a quick, easy way to try to prevent it. There's these backflows uh, that you can tap into any of your basement uh, drains. So this one is by Moen. It's a floor drain check like this. Comes in uh, three inch or four inch. Now, they don't really show you how these things work. So that's why I'm gonna explain it to you here. This is the first one that I've done. Now, what happens here is, this is a typical uh, three inch. So make sure that you've measured and you got the right one. So what happens here is this little button here, this little spring loaded, what it does is once water goes on top to the drain, it'll push down and then you'll see the air go down. Then it comes back up with the spring. So what you can see in here, if you can see it, goes like that. Now, once it's at that position, anything that's coming back this way will just add the more pressure so then it'll stop and, you know, I don't know if it's going to be 100%, but still prevent you from having a major 3-inch uh, opening rather than maybe just a bit, an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth. So it's probably important to kind of keep it clean, make sure there's no obstructions in here. Now, how does this work? Well, here's the drain. You'll have some hoses here and you have whatever, take it out. Clean this up because what happens is the cement overlaps. So you got to make sure that it fits properly. You're going to put this in, then with your regular screwdriver, you're going to tighten these ones up. And what happens here is it pinches it, and then this rubber expands out. So then it's really tight to go in there. Okay? So once you've cleaned this out, hopefully we're going to be able to slide this in here. Right. So then you're just kind of going to go around. Now it's moving a little bit, but let's just... Make sure it's kind of flush and we're going to tighten it around. Okay. So that's about it. So like I said, what's going to happen here is you can see that. So once water comes in, it'll push down, it'll drain. And like I said, it'll come up and uh, it'll stop. So. These hoses here, what you're gonna do is, you can try just like a little bit, I wanna make sure that angle is good. Okay, so this one's flowing nice here. This one, I'll probably cut it up here. All right, make sure it's kinda of clean a little bit. And then mine was just kinda of like sitting like that just to kinda of keep that all in order. So that's it. So there you go. Uh, is it 100%? No, but it's probably in the 90s and pretty good. And I got peace of mind that if this ever comes up, I think that this thing will probably hold it and uh, prevent major water coming in. So I'd probably put it on your checklist to look at. Uh, probably once a year, come around, push it down a little bit, make sure there's no obstruction. Everything's working. It's nice and clean, just in case you never know, you could get some insect or something growing something in there that blocks but uh, keep an eye on it and uh, good luck to you and preventing any water coming back uh, in your basement and uh, thanks for watching mr fix